As for Fairuz's husbands wanting to buy a house, a mortgage, and pay riba. We know that mortgage is riba-based. It's a loan where you give riba interest over that loan. And the problem is when it fluctuates and it goes up. So the property, instead of being $100,000, now with the interest, it's 120. Some say, okay, no problem. I'll pay the 20%. Not only that, during, throughout the coming years, it may ra rise up more and more and more according to inflation, etc. So it becomes complex. It becomes compound interest. And all of this is totally prohibited. The third part would be what would Fairuz do? Because her husband is giving her an ultimatum. Whether you like it or not, I'm buying the house. You want to come? You're welcome. You don't want to come? It's, he has no problem with, with, with that. I tell you and I give you an advice. Go and enjoy the house because you have zero sin on you living in such a mortgage uh, house. All the sin, which is a major sin, all the punishment, all the torment in the grave and in the hereafter would be on your husbands. So have no problem. You did your due diligence. You did your duty. You gave him the uh, uh, advice that Allah told you to, to give him. And alhamdulillah, you made your duty. Now, he is the one who is sinful. Everything that he brings home from his haram earning is halal for you and for your children. Because he's the one who earned it. You did your job by advising him. He doesn't want to listen. It's up to him. However, usually it is not that easy. Especially when you love your spouse. You don't want to see them end up in hell. You don't have any other alternative. Advise them kindly. Show them the fatwas. This is not a necessity. Even if someone is forced to do or perform a surgical operation that requires money and he does not have this money he is not permitted to go and borrow with interest sheikh he's going to die and how do you know that if he borrowed with interest and did the operation that he will live life and death is in the hands of allah azza wa jal so even in the case where you are forced to do or undergo uh, um, a surgery, but you don't have the money for it, you're not permitted, you're not allowed to borrow uh, uh, for that by riba. And Allah Azza wa knows best. We